Chapter 12, Day of the Colossus. <laughs> oh my god, that's amazing. That's so cool. Good job, Olin. There's Batar Jr. <laughs> Doesn't look so good in his suit. So stylish. I'm not letting her conquer Republic City. I agree. We take down that giant yes. today. She just blew up our factory with all our hummingbird suits. Yeah, not it was really... Oh, there good. The prototypes. Yes, I wanted to see them. Nice. The rest of us will just have to face Kuvira on our own. Hell yeah. This is awesome. I love this. I love how they're all coming together finally at the end. This is a small touch. I also like how Suyin is holding Batar Jr. in her arms. It speaks really well of her that she can even do that after everything Batar Jr. has done. Batar Jr. has a long road ahead of him because a lot of this is on him. So he's going to need his mother's love. <laughs> he might not have much else for a little while. I hate to be the bearer of more bad news, but I just heard on the radio that Kuvira's army has destroyed the train tracks. Why is he standing so close to Pema like that? That's a weird frame. Is it me or is this... What is going on? Why are they hugging? Everyone, I was just up on the observation deck. Get off Pema, damn. Listen, everyone. Who's all right? Can you step off the bench, please? It's a little crowded up Oh, here. that's why. You think you can handle this unruly mob for a little while? I raised Milo. I can handle anything. Fair point. Wait till Milo's a teenager. Okay, Speak of the devil. Sword, that's it! <laughs> Did he even try the doorknob? I just got an idea how to beat the giant. Now everyone, grab some paint. Milo is going to be the one? All right. Yes, Super Air Squad. What are these balloons? Oh, it's the paint balloons. Nice. I see them. I feel like the cannon is just overkill for so much of this stuff. There's Kai. Still with no speaking lines for a while. So they're gonna cover the glass, I guess, with the paint. Yeah, she needs some, like, sub-weapons. That's a huge weakness for this machine. Wow. Pretty good thinking. Clear the glass. That was good thinking. It's so cool that things come together like this. Like, there was all this build up for the air squad. They need a better name. They need a catchier name. But yeah, we saw all they went through, we saw their bonding exercises, and now it's so cool that they're actually like a major part of the final assault. The joints are platinum too. Worth a try. You're about to get the world's largest hot foot, metal lady. I love how he's trash talking a giant robot. It's a great idea. <laughs> Where have I seen this before? Something similar happened on an icy planet in a galaxy far away. Star Wars. Cora for the finishing blow. Awesome. Oh, wow. Oh my! What the heck? Wow, she got desperate. Oh, now you made her mad. I love how it's airbending too, because that's the element she struggled with in season one. Oh man, they were close. She's kind of losing it. They're sort of forcing her into a corner. <laughs> well, it's not flying, but still cool. Ah! Wow. That was an awesome scene, I love that a lot. Feels like they were close, like they were so close. I feel like if they weren't worried about the younger people, if it was just the adults like Bolin, Korra, Lin, Tenzin, I feel like they could finish it off with a little more lava bending. I know how to take down some mecha suits, and it just might take down that giant too. What does he have an EMP or something? Is that what it is? Where am I? Ooh, here we go. I'm so sorry. I betrayed you. The whole family. How could she do that? She's a complicated person. That's for sure. They might take some time to come around, but we'll work through it as a family. Wow. Suyin is a great example among a whole bunch in the show of like people learning from their parents or people before them and internalizing the things that they don't want and then becoming better as a result. It's great to see Su able to do that considering the fact that her childhood was maybe not the most nurturing. Batar Jr. is just in a world of hurt. Like he's just lost probably what feels like everything. Like he traded in his family for the love of his life and now that's gone. Hurts, man. Hurts. Good luck, Julie, Batar Jr. I've been thinking. You're always thinking, sir. Yes, but lately I've been thinking about you. Ooh. There are some things I should tell you. There are? I had an ostrich horse. I grew up on a farm. Did I ever tell you that, Julie? 
Circus people. He's getting to it. Way. He's getting to it. Circus people. But I took her for granted. You'll have to finish your story later. I think I can see where this story is going. Yes! Dead in their tracks! <laughs> she's still coming! Yeah, she's gonna step all over them because Gavira doesn't give a crap. I'm afraid there are no more things to do. Oh no! <laughs> That's it. It's over. Because it's powered with spirit vine energy. I wish I could help you. But it's unstoppable. It's not. Oh. Wow. Redemption for everyone. You must act like an infection. Break the skin and attack the vital organs. How are we supposed to get inside? Right. I think I can add an electrical element to the welding torch on your suit and convert it into a plasma saw. So the final battle between Korra and Kuvira are going to be inside the mech? Asami's father's like, if Batar Jr. is not going to get redeemed, I will. Oh, first he ate the fruit, then he ate the leaves. Hungry little lemur ate up all my trees. Is that how she raised Milo? No wonder he's so crazy. Is that Prince Wu writing a badger mole? Mako always hated my singing, but they love it. I wonder what song he sang. Was it badger moles? <laughs> Shout out to the wandering. What are they called again? Just when I thought I was done with the the singing nomad songs. Badger moles, big in holes. No. Gotta run away from the river today, although I do still think she's pretty. I'm offended. I think we found the source of the electromagnetic pulse. Future Industries Tower. Oops. There were two emergency levers. If you switch them off there at the go. same time, you'll cut the power. Sometimes redemption comes in small packages. Batar Jr. at least doing something. Yeah, I feel like they could take it if they just teamed up and just were relentless and avoided this giant laser. Oh wow, they got her. Yeah, she's getting a little bit unstable. <laughs> what do you do, smack yourself? Yeah. <laughs> Look at me on a smiling face. Wow. Wow, that's amazing. You can do it. Mommy Lo! Yes! Hell yeah. Iki saving Jinora and Milo saving Tenzin. Here we go. Building bending. Suck on this building. <laughs> this is pretty good. Don't let up. Keep going. I'm guessing Cora has to get inside. You're the sweetest of that you have ever known. And I just want to thank you. Stop. <laughs> I miss the singing nomads. Turn around slowly and please stop that singing. <laughs> Come with us and no one will get hurt. Wow, I'm actually relieved they're getting captured. I'm Prince Wu, rightful leader. Whoa, Prince Wu. If you don't respect the brooch, you don't respect me. Oh, no, 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 no. <laughs> Recoils in horror. Actually, your song is so bad, your badger moles deserted you. That's what you think. I wanna, I wanna pet your snouts. I guess animal training just runs in the family. We're gonna need a bigger throne room. If we stop that mecha giant, it will all be because of you. Redemption. Julie? Yes? Oh, here we go. What was that? Hair twirl. Attached to what? I need to attach this ring. Oh! Julie Slick. Moon, will you do the thing for the rest of our lives? <laughs> you have to put it like that? Yes. Wow. Mm. Wow. Now let's go attach these barely functional rust buckets to a giant killer smashing machine! That's cute. I like That's that. exactly how I always pictured our engagement. <laughs> Barrick showing a lot of maturation in these episodes. He develops a conscience. He stops running away from women. I feel like Julie's not someone you'd want to run away from. She'd probably find you. She'd find you and do a thing. <laughs> Never would have guessed in season two that one of my favorite relationships in the show would be with Varric. Why am I surprised? Everything Varric does is perfect. Oh, 
Good job, Wei, in the other one. Oh. I need more power. Such a cool thing to say. Everything about her is overpowered. The way she approaches the attack is just giant spirit laser. Giant mech. We have to go now. Almost there. Almost there. Dad! Now! Goodbye, Asami. No! Is he gonna eject her? She's planned worked. Sometimes redemption comes in big packages. Asami, man. Asami gets the short end of the stick on so many things. <laughs> They're in. They're all in, more than just Korra. It's a pretty good team if I ever saw one. Oh man. That episode is so much fun. This non-stop action. Start to finish. And then sadness. But that's going to be the end of this video. I'll see you tomorrow for the grand finale. Can't wait.